Wouldn't it be nice if you could directly get the dividend payment history of a company in Excel? With this, you could build dividend watch lists for your own dividend stocks, as well as find potential attractive dividend investment opportunities that you would not otherwise be able to find. So in this video, I want to share with you how it is that you can get the dividend per share for many different stocks across all the major global stock exchanges in Excel. Okay, so in order to get the dividend per share of a particular company in Excel, there's different ways in which you can go about doing it. So one of them is to use an API. And so you would use a programming language like Python. And then what you would do is set up a program that basically retrieves the data from a site like Yahoo Finance, put it into your spreadsheet, uh, programmatically make sure that the formatting works and all that stuff. If you're interested in that, I'm gonna link a video in the description uh, where I basically show you how it is that you can do some of that. However, it's still a complicated thing for most people. So what others end up doing is also looking into scraping. So you can um, try to scrape a website like Yahoo Finance or Finviz and try to do that on Excel. However, that is quite difficult and uh, there's a lot of problems that come with that. So I'm gonna show you the method that I think is the best. So before I show you how to get the dividend uh, per share payment for a particular company, I wanna show you how you can get uh, the entire dividend payment history of a company. So in this case, we're gonna use Apple as an example. And as you can see, I'm making a very simple function call using Y Sheets. Um, for Y Sheets, we have entire tutorials on our channel that you can check out. And as you can see in one call, you get all of this data at once. So in this case, we have the date, the dividend, the adjusted dividend, payment date and declaration date. So this is quite helpful. And then from here, you can do any calculations you like, such as growth rates uh, for the dividend payment or whatnot. But now I want to get into how you can get the dividend per share payments of particular companies. So the way in which this works is quite simple. We have a whole bunch of dividend paying stocks right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to get the dividend per share payment for this particular companies. The way you do this is like this. So you're going to enter equals wise, enter the symbol. The parameter is going to be dividend. And here, this is an important thing. This is where you enter the period. So there's different periods that you can enter. Uh, one of them, for example, is to get the last quarter. So this would be uh, the dividend paid in the last quarter. And as you can see, just like that, you're going to get that. We're going to turn into the dollar format and then uh, lock this in. So that way we could drag the function for all the different companies. And here we go doing this is going to give us all of the dividend payments uh, in the last quarter for all of these different companies. If you want to know more about how the WISE function works, you can see on this panel how we have some instructions. A more common use case is to get the dividend per share payment of particular companies on a specific year. So in this case, what you could do is enter a year like 2021 and now what's going to happen is that you're going to get the sum of all the dividend payments made by that particular company on that particular year. So this is quite helpful to be able to compare the dividend payments uh, of particular companies. Obviously, like something that would be great, actually, is if you could compare this with the stock price. And I'm going to show you how to do that as well. And the way you do that is very simple. So you're going to do wise price. This is another formula here. You can see how it works. And then you're going to select this list of symbols. The parameter is price for all of them. And just like that, we're going to get the stock prices of all of these different stocks. If you want to know more about what data is available per function, you can click here and you will be able to see that. The other thing that is super helpful actually is to get the dividend yield of particular companies. So the way that you do this is like this. So you're going to use the wise function, enter the symbol, parameter, dividend yield. 
and here we're gonna use TTM and what this is gonna do is it's gonna give you the dividend yield based on the latest stock price and the latest dividend paid by that particular company so we're gonna lock this in again and now the cool thing is that we can just drag this down add some more decimals and now we have the dividend yield of all these different companies we have the stock price we have uh, the dividend payments made for this particular year and as you can imagine with this knowledge you can build some pretty cool dividend trackers dividend screeners and pretty much anything that you can imagine either for dividend stocks but also for general stocks because you can get information like revenues net income profit ratios return on equity balance sheet values all that stuff we have entire tutorials on our channel that you can check out but this is the general principle and by the way the great thing about Y sheets is that it works on excel and google sheets as well so i'm gonna open this up but here's an example of a template that you can build in this case this template is available for google sheets if you go to wise templates uh, you're gonna be able to see it here dividend payment analysis as well as a whole bunch of other templates that you can download for free and the cool thing here is that this template works uh, using uh, wise price and wise functions and it provides you with a whole bunch of information so here's the uh, last four dividends paid by a company here's the dividend yield and this is an example of a good portfolio tracker that you can download i'm gonna leave a link in the description so you can get it as well and um, all together you can build some really cool stuff and analyze companies in the real way that you want now you know how to get the dividend per share for stocks in excel without the pain and the hassle of having to copy paste this data yourself from different websites and with this you can create all sorts of cool models as you saw in the video if you've enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications on so that way you get notified every time we release a new video like this that's gonna allow you to take your investing game to the next level I'll see you in the next one.